Today we are going to speak about activities that need to be undertaken when it comes to conducting a record survey. But uh, before we proceed with the presentation, as usual, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up if the video was helpful to you. And also share the video with uh, your fellow students and colleagues uh, because by so doing, you'll be showing a care to them. And more importantly, you can put your comment and uh, also provide your question for discussion uh, so that we assist you further. Conducting a record survey, where do we start and what do we do when we conduct a record survey? There are many uh, factors that are involved here. As I said, the first thing first, you need to conduct the research, which is the record survey or audit and examine functions and uh, also assess user needs. And those will give you an uh, idea as to what would be indeed will be the subjects, uh, functional subjects of the organization. And thereafter, you'll be able to compile filing system and uh, select. You must also be able to select uh, whether to go for multiple single or single uh, file plan. And uh, your file plan must be submitted for approval to appropriate authorities. And mostly in South Africa, uh, government uh, bodies will uh, submit to national or provincial archives for approval. But in terms of uh, the private bodies or private organizations, uh, the, their institutional uh, authorities may approve the file plan before it, it is implemented. Then a functional analysis in the survey, what do we go about doing it? So when we, we, we do functional analysis in, in the survey, we analyze organizational strategies and goals. And this may be accessible in the uh, uh, strategic uh, documents like strategic plans, like uh, your annual reports, organograms, and many other uh, relevant documents. And in these documents, uh, you will need to identify the functions, activities, and transactions. So you must be able to differentiate between the three so that you can be able to have a clear understanding of uh, the general subjects uh, to the specifics so that when you, it goes, comes to structuring the content of your file plan, this will be structured logically. Uh, and this, the, the structuring, as I said, must also be uh, done in such a way that is hierarchical, uh, using hierarchical model of the organization, which is the organogram or the structure of uh, the functions of the organization. Systematic functional analysis. Uh, uh, here I try to just uh, show, give them logically, step by step, so that I can take you through uh, to say what must happen in the first step until the, the last step. In the first step, when you do systematic functional analysis, you must collect information from documentary sources and interview, uh, as I already said, the, the documents such as uh, strategic plans, annual reports, organogram, and many more may be taken and, and, and assessed or evaluated so that one can identify the subjects of the organization from general to specific. And the step two, uh, you analyze the work performed by the institution. Uh, that is structurally also from general to specific. Uh, general to specific, I'm referring to from functional activities and uh, down to transactions. So you must be able to identify those levels within the subjects that you are identifying from different documents. And then step three, you have to identify do and, and document each business function. So remember, these are going to be used in the file plan. You need to write them down so that when it comes to transferring to them to the file plan, you are no longer going to revisit the very same big uh, and long documents. And then in the last step, you then compile the business classification scheme uh, based on the 
hierarchy of the business functions, activities, and transactions. And this is why, why what I already said. Thank you for watching. And uh, before parting ways, uh, I want to remind you not to forget to subscribe, to like the video in case it assisted you, and uh, also share to fellow students and colleagues in case uh, you care for them. And I know you, you are caring. And uh, also use the comment slot uh, for your questions and comments. Uh, thank you.